Okay. Okay. So again, thanks a lot for uh, for uh, letting me present the the Apache Camel Gateway. Um, I, I have some uh, some really nice things that that we added since last time we we were together. So uh, welcome everyone to. Uh, so uh, my we will be demoing. Uh, uh, a light API gateway implemented on top of uh, Apache Camel. Um, so my name is Rodrigo Coelho. Uh, I'm a software engineer. I'm already I'm currently working it at the uh, Council of the European Union, and uh, previously I was working at the European Commission, where I uh, was responsible for implementing an API gateway um, from scratch uh, that is uh, today in production and uh, exposing. Uh, uh, hundreds of APIs to to all the European institutions, but also to all the member states. Uh, so yeah, so uh, when we just before uh, continue, I would like to. I hope that everyone in the talk is more or less familiar with Apache Camel, uh, because I I'm not covering um, like basic concepts of Apache Camel. I hope you all uh, know. Uh, and I'm also I will also not cover any details about Kafka, Docker, Kubernetes, Helm, and scaling up monitoring, uh, especially sp scaling up monitoring because I always get a lot of questions like uh, because all the tools that I will use during the demo, how can they scale? So and this is not the the, the subject of the presentation. I will just show them working. Um, yeah, so. Uh, that's it because we will doing a, a, a demo using a Kubernetes after just after my my quick presentation about uh, about the project. Yeah. So the key message uh, is we have a, a, a REST endpoint and you have a, a, someone that wants to consume it. So this is a starting point for every project or every company that needs to to implement an API gateway uh, and. So the, the the problems that we faced uh, we, while implementing the API gateway uh, was especially integration with custom components. Uh, sorry, with external components such as uh, identity providers, traceability, metrics, um, logging. So we faced a lot of issues uh, trying to integrate that. And uh, the thing is that in the team we all. Uh, like a lot uh, Apache Camel, and we have some production experience with it. Uh, so we decided to to give it a try uh, with an API gateway implemented on top of Camel. So what was before this, now it's, uh, you have, as you can see, um, uh, an Apache uh, Camel on, uh, on Spring Boot that uh, is exposing all those APIs. We will see now uh, how. And uh, of course, it, it's the, it also being able to do authentication, uh, traffic management, and providing all metrics and tools for then uh, users um, and managers to use it, and even to managing it, OK? Um, yeah, so talking about uh, a bit about the architecture of, uh, of it. So this is a, a really high level picture. Um, the pink part uh, is the, 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 the spring boot that is running the camel, the, the camel routes. Uh, we will see the, uh, right there. I don't know if I jumped, hold on. Uh, no, I didn't. So um, focusing on this part here, so, uh, we have then the Spring Boot on Ping, the Spring Boot application that is running an Apache Camel context. And of course, this context will be responsible for all the main features that I will I will uh, describe, like uh, inspecting traffic, uh, inspecting, inspecting routes, taking care of authorization, and of course, providing traceability and metrics to for all the deployed uh, APIs. Uh, and of course, as we, provide the metrics and then traceability, we need also to provide endpoints for for external components to can, can feed. And this is the, the analytics endpoint, the API manager, and the traffic inspector as well. On the on the on the left side we have all all the the other custom external components. 
One of them is the, the CAPI managed server that you can see there, which is also a Spring Boot application, which is in fact the responsible for uh, deploying all the API. So let's say that you have an API to expose on, on the CAPI API gateway, you can use this um, management endpoint to deploy there. And as you can see, uh, between the, the, the CAPI gateway, the route server, and this management, you have a shared cache that will take care of all the running uh, routes and so on. And then, of course, Prometheus that is feeding on, on the analytics endpoint, which, with, which will provide data to, to Grafana. The same for Zipkin and the same for Asio, which is not in the picture. Um, yeah, so let me just go back because I I guess I missed. Uh, um, let me just try. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry about that because I accidentally delete one. So a quick a quick um, description of the feature. So it's a light API gateway, like I mentioned, that is powered by uh, Apache Camel Dynamic Routes. Uh, it, you can uh, customize processors. So Again, I, I I hope you will know what, what are processors in the in the Camel context. Um, it allows a, a easy deployment of APIs. So if you have your API and you want to expose, you just need to provide one of the things is your Swagger endpoint. That then the 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 API manager will read and will create routes based on the definition of your Swagger. Um, for protecting uh, the APIs and for protecting the managers, we count on Kickcloak integration to do that, um, which is also protecting the REST endpoint that you that you have to manage your APIs. And then, of course, you have a, a distributed tracing system. We, we use Zipkin, uh, Prometheus for metrics, uh, Athio for a JVM management console, and again, uh, we take advantage of key cloak roles to manage subscription. So what is a subscription is you expose your a API, you want to protect your API, but you also want to uh, only uh, sub subscribe users can consume our API. So key cloak is uh, helping doing that. And for traffic management, so if you want to impose traffic restrictions on your API, uh, we use uh, Kafka and we use the Kafka component, not the connector, for um, for managing that. We will see uh, working later. And of course, as uh, as you know, Spring Boot is exposing the actuator, and by these we exposed all the um, the Camel routes uh, that you will see also later. Another important aspect, when you when you play with the dynamic routes in Camel, they are really powerful. And one thing that you can also do with the with the API gateway is you can provide a custom um, error endpoint. So if if your API is not available, or if your um, or if you of your API is returning an error or a timeout, and you have defined the strategy for timeouts. Then, then this error endpoint will be presented, and you can show, you can hide uh, the errors, or you can even show all the errors that are uh, happening not only on your endpoint but also on on the, the Camel route itself. Of course, you, we can we are also using a, a very nice feature of uh, of Apache Camel, which is the the load balancing. So if you provide more than one endpoint. It will, of course, be load balance uh, round robin fashion uh, between the, your your endpoints. Soon available, we are already working on it. So the Angular API Manager interface, which we provide a demo if you use the the Helm uh, chart. So the demo that I will be doing today, uh, you can do exactly the same after if you if you clone the, the these helm charts that are available on my github and you can run exactly what i will show you today um so you have there a dummy a dummy api manager and basically for us it's useful to test uh, course uh, the course feature so if you 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 can or can't enable the course on your api and uh, of course a websocket gateway that that we are already working uh, but it's it's it will be available soon. Yeah, so this I explained already. Uh, this as well. So this is the basic API model. So 
it, it, the, I, I guess it's self-explanatory. So if, if you see, you provide your endpoints, which can be load balance, as I mentioned before, you can say that if you have an HTTP or an HTTPS endpoint, if you have an HTTPS endpoint, you also have endpoints to, to, to easily manage certificates. Uh, and you can use this endpoint to let the, 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 the KPI, KPI gateway to know uh, and to trust the certificate of your service. And of course, connection, socket, timeout that you can uh, even specify, the name of your API, the context. So the context will be the context used when you call the gateway, the main gateway endpoint. We will see that later. Uh, like I mentioned before, if your API is secured or not, uh, your swagger endpoint that the gateway will use to, to read the definition of your service, and then some more technical uh, um, that, that some more technical uh, uh, attributes that you can see uh, then on the documentation on GitHub, which one of them and the meaning of each one of them. Uh, so if your API is protected, you have there the client ID, which allows you to define which role the user needs to have uh, to be able to consume our API, and of course, cores enabled, uh, if you if you can enable or not, and which are the allowed origins to consume your uh, your um, API. And then, if you want to impose uh, some traffic limitations, you can rely on the throttling policy, where you can define the like how the max calls that are allowed within the period for those max calls. And if, and if we want to apply these for the old API or just for some um, verbs or, or context of your own API. Uh, yeah, so we will, we will start the demo. So the, 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 the things that you need for the demo, you need Kubernetes, you need Helm charts, and you need, of course, to clone and follow the instructions. And uh, every, all, all the components that I described here, they will be created uh, uh, for you. And uh, the Keycloak contains already a test realm called Capi. And within, within this, you have an admin user, of course, and you have already a default client, uh, not only to use uh, to request your first access token, but also if you want to use it uh, on the front end, on the simple page application, you have an, on a single page application, you have the, the implicit flow down there. Um, yeah. So the idea is, I, I will be describing the demo, but basically we will start uh, two remote services that are deployed on uh, on Amazon, just to show the, the 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 differences, and then we will request and we'll, we we will go through each one of these um, of these steps. So let me then uh, I will I will stop. Uh, where is okay? I will stop the presentation now and I will yeah so as I mentioned before um, this is uh, this is uh, th those are the services that are running on a, on a, an Amazon instance okay and they are they are available here so they they, they are available under KPI the KPI gateway dot au and as you can see we have one running on uh, on nine 011 and one on 9010 and the main goal is to expose these two uh, apis on copy so uh, having said that let's go and then um, so let's start helm and uh, pray that uh, everything will be okay and, and the, the demo gods will be with us so Helm, install, copy, and exactly the ones that you will need to get from uh, from GitHub. Um, yeah. So we will start them. Usually, usually, um, Keycloak takes a while to. So it's okay. We are exposing on local host for for simplicity. All the pods, yeah. So most of them are already running, and as you can see, we have um, a pod. I hope I hope that you will see the 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 screen the the command line. You see it. Uh, well, I hope yes. If anyone can write there, um, if you see the command line, uh, the command line is okay. Can you? Yes, it's perfectly fine. Uh, you can make oh. the font a bit bigger if you can. 
Yeah, I do. I will do that. Okay. So let's move then. Uh, sorry. Okay. So let's see again if all the pods are running. So all the pods are running. We will we will see in detail each one of them. So this is the the, ang the Angular application. This is the Camel route server. This is the rest, the, the Spring Boot rest that is exposing the management endpoints and do, and the other ones you know already. So the only th something that we can do here is we can uh, here we can log the pods and as you can see the the gateway is starting. Yeah, everything should be available. As you can see, members are joining to the to the to the Hazel cast for the shared for for the shared cache. Analytics are already exposed. Kafka is already connected. So I guess we can start the the demo. So maybe I will I will try to open um, the that demo uh, application. Uh, I guess Keycloak is still not ready. Let's see. Let's see Keycloak. Uh, well, maybe, maybe it's already, huh? Let's see. Um, let's wait for key cloak. You see there, click cloak, click cloak. Come on. Mm, if it's taking a while, it means that it's getting up, huh? Yeah, so uh, while we wait, uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. maybe we can try. So I prepared already a couple of collections here. We can try so to get our first token. So I guess Keycloak is busy. Okay, we got the token, which means that, yeah, so now we were redirected. So here I'm using client credentials to get my token. Here I'm using the implicit flow. As I mentioned before, a user test was created. Uh, yeah, so we will use this basic, this demo um, single page application mainly to test, uh, to call uh, an API that we just deployed. But of course, for that, we need to deploy an API. So. I will get. I will take my first uh, my first access token. I will put it here, and then we will see uh, the the API that we will create. Uh, I have it already. So as you can see here, I'm creating an API that will expose those services that I showed before. Uh, it will be. Uh, it will not be a secured API, and and basically this API will return all the open source licenses. Okay, and by default, I don't want course to be enabled, so I can just go and create my my first API. Uh, okay, it was created. So now, if we go again to the logs, we can see that. Uh, yeah, so that that's a new, a new API was detected and uh, triggered the 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 camel the the the, on, the builder and the the routes they were uh, created. We will see uh, other things that also they, we we created other things that we will see. But now let's focus on the on the on the routes, which means that if I now go and ask uh, and call the gateway using that context that I defined, I can have my licenses. And the idea now is to provide this to a single page application uh, that is here, and then I can call this API. So this is on purpose because I don't know if you remember, but we created the API uh, with, with course disabled. Uh, and the idea now is uh, to quickly enable the course so I will get the application ID, the API ID, sorry, the API that was created. I go again to, to my licenses here, to my license API. I will enable course. True. I'm allowing the local host, so it's okay. So I can go and change the API. What happened here was that uh, the, um, 
the, the app, our camel gracefully shut down the, the, the route and recreate again the same, uh, the same route. Uh, now with with the with the course, so there is now a course route that is uh, that is enabled. So if we now go to the to our test, we can we can now have the licenses and we can now see, for instance, take take one license, uh, go here, and just call another account another uh, route. So each each uh, path that I have here. It represents a route um, uh, on on Camel. Yeah, so this is the simple test. Uh, remember that we deployed an API that was unprotected, and now we want to uh, deploy an API that is protected. So the steps are: the only thing that is that we are changing here is that our our API will be secured, and we will have a client ID uh, that will be used to authorize or not. Um, so we can just go and deploy an API. And if we go again to the logs, we will see that the route, uh, the routes, they were created. And the, the difference here on the logs, as you can see, is that when you define that an API is secured, it, it and it has a traffic uh, configuration. As you can see, we are giving a throttling policy. It will uh, the camel builder will automatically uh, create a route for Kafka, because Kafka will manage the, um, the 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 traffic. Okay, so now that we have these, we can go um, to to our example to call the the, the, the to get the quotes, uh, and this will return quotes. And now, if we call it without a token, we will see that. We are not authorized. Uh, so this is actually that uh, error endpoint that I mentioned in the in the in the in the in the features. And now, if I include my bearer token, I will also have a forbidden because I'm not subscribed to this API. Okay. So now it's so now if we go to the to here and we get this quote role, the only thing that we need to do is or we can do it uh, using a, um, using an endpoint uh, on Keycloak to manage these, of course. But we can just go uh, to Keycloak um, and quickly. Okay. Uh oh, 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 and quickly create this role. Okay, and. If we the client that we are using is the manager one, we just need to go and add this there. So now if we go again and uh, request a new access token because that access token now contains the claim the role that I want. And now if I call the the quote service with the that oh sorry I need to put the token here of course. And now if I put the token here and I call the service, I will get a random code. So I don't know if you remember that on the throttling policy, I had, imp I had a, a 10 calls per minute, which means that if I now call start calling, um, it will eventually, so whenever I'm calling, as I mentioned before, there is a, there is a, a route that is sending traffic, that is sending uh, the traffic message to a, uh, to Kafka, and now, as you can see, my route is suspended because I I, I did more than ten calls uh, per minute, and this you can easily see if you go to um, if you go to the analytics. I guess I have it here. Uh, yeah, I, my analytics endpoint is here, and together I have Atio. And if you see on my Camel Random, which was the API that was suspended. Uh, I can go to the diagram of the route, and as you can see, uh, my my route was replaced by an error route. Okay, so what 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 is happening is that Camel will will uh, gracefully shut down my my route, and it will for a minute replace my route with an error one, preserving all of course the analytics and all the the things that were done there. And if we wait a minute, and if we stay here. We will see that soon, the, uh, after one minute, because it was one minute that we defined for the route to be blocked, uh, 
Kamel will again, you see, it's just happened. Kamel will again uh, expose the normal route, which is this one, uh, which has a lot of things like header management, um, exception management, and of course, sending to, to traffic manager. And this, uh, and ASIO can also give you a nice overview of the of the, the calls to your API. As you can see now, it's available again. And as you can see here, you can see uh, the calls the calls to your API here. Um, we can also see it. We can also see it, of course, if we go, like I mentioned before, let's start with Prometheus. So uh, every route that is um, every route that you that is deployed on on Camel on the Camel route server, it will be available here as a metric. So uh, if I go here, I, you can see that I deployed. So I deployed. My my two APIs they have just two uh, methods, and uh, this is what you are seeing here. Okay, so you see four of them because it's one metric per route, and they are here. And if you go for for instance for this one, you will see all the calls that I did. And of course, this is not that interesting, but if we go to um, to Grafana. Um, and in Grafana, you will we'll skip. Okay. So the idea is in Grafana, whenever you you deploy a, a new um, a new API, uh, the copy copy will automatically create a dashboard for you in Grafana. Okay. And this is quite easy because like, so this is just a demo uh, thing, a dummy thing. So this is just the total calls to your APIs, but it's quite easy if you want later to, to build your own dashboard, which as you know is JSON, you can then tell Capi to say, whenever you deploy, please create a dashboard like this. And of course a dashboard like this, that is, uh, using um, Prometheus as the as the data source, it should be somewhere here. Uh, yeah, well, it, it's it's actually on the definition. Okay, um, yeah. So this is the, the the connection between the Grafana and uh, and Prometheus, and of course uh, you can also use it uh, to explore Zipkin here because there is also a data source automatically created for you and as you can see the nice thing about having camel doing this for you is that you don't need to take care of uh, you know when you have traceability you need to take care of headers so camel is doing everything for you meaning that if you you, you can see everything here so if we go for instance to to the to that quote service that is protected by by that is uh, with the throttling policy you will see that you have here as well you can see here as well the behavior of kafka while sending a message to 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 the to the kafka uh, to the topic and while consuming as well don't forget that with camel you can easily uh, do that so you can say Send a, send send a message to Kafka, and but you can also create the route, which is the, this is the case that you are also uh, consuming uh, um, uh, the the Kafka for getting all this traffic uh, related stuff. So you can see it here, and uh, if you if you see if you go to um, to that API that that we have that is not protected, then you can see that Kafka is not even here because it's not being sent. Okay, um, this is for for the the Zipkin part, and of course, you can even have here the the the, the endpoints that you define for the for the errors. I don't know if you remember that our quote random it at a certain moment that route was suspended because we didn't have the we reach more than ten calls per minute, and that was actually this endpoint did that this route that was replaced by the the error route that is using this default endpoint yeah uh let's see uh, back in the demo if we covered everything that we wanted uh let's play here so we started the remote services we yeah 
we, we, we deploy the request access token, deploy the bear token, create the rule on, uh, on, um, on key cloak, uh, request a new access token, and uh, yeah. So I guess we, we more or less checked uh, everything here. Um, so just going a bit uh, here, what, what we want to do now and we are preparing. So this, the same will apply for the WebSocket gateway. So it will be more or less the same, um, but we will, we will still use uh, uh, Spring Boot and Stomp to do the, 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 the WebSocket gateway and of course, Camel to manage, uh, to manage everything. Uh, so yeah, everything, like I mentioned, everything is available on, on GitHub. Uh, feel free to go there and uh, if you want, if you like it to put a star, but especially check, check out the, I guess Zoran will, will, uh, will, uh, will um, share the links, but anyway, feel free to go there and uh, clone and uh, try it and uh, yeah. And if you can give me some feedback, that will be really, really nice. Um, yeah, so I will, Open now. I guess we still have time for for questions. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Rodrigo. That was really awesome uh, doing a live demo and the demo gods smiling on you. So good work. Yeah. Uh, so Alex was asking. Um, I wonder how many routes end up in the production platform. Yeah. That is also that. That's a nice question. We are still not there, okay? Um, and in the end, we don't know if we still. So our main goal for now is to deploy a route per per um, per context, like I mentioned before. Uh, but I don't know if in the end we will need to 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 manage that part because we will end up with with um, with uh, thousands of of routes. But yeah. But anyway, the routes, I, I never had a, an issue in production with, with the routes, but I don't know if, uh, if any of the uh, Camel guys that are here can, can also help with this answer uh, regarding the limitation of routes uh, on Camel, yeah. Yeah, I think it's the same limit with any other app. It's either memory or IO throughput, so yeah. you know, that's yeah. when you want to scale if you have a lot of uh, routes. And yeah, close so, no limit. Yeah. So actually, regarding regarding uh, scaling up, uh, this is already doing uh, already doing that. So the the route server, uh, because you can you can scale it. Uh, you can you can do it with Kubernetes, of course. It's tested with with many replicas, and uh, since it's we are sharing the cache, and not and one route server. It, it can be agnostic of all the others, so it's, it perfectly works, uh, yeah, regarding scaling up. Yes, and uh, Jakub was asking, um, how does Camel create dynamic routes uh, when there is no Swagger endpoint provided? Actually, there is a Swagger endpoint provided, so one of the things that you can, yeah, that you have, uh, I can quickly show you on the model, yeah, here. So one of the things that you have here is your Swagger endpoint, okay? Uh, and what what when so what you do is you create you create a request to Camel route saying I want to deploy uh, uh, a new uh, API gateway, a new API, sorry, uh, with this context and with this Swagger endpoint. So what what will happen next is that the camel route will will read the the swagger endpoint and it will get all the definitions and automatically create create those uh like you create any any route uh on camel uh, it's actually quite simple it's uh, like a, a couple of of lines of code and you can uh, you can do it yeah yes and we have one more question from andre is the throughput under load? Uh, is that the throughput under load? Isn't the gateway becoming a uh, bottleneck? Well, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, so far, so far, we don't have any 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 issues. Um, well, and if the gateway itself becomes a bottleneck, you can always scale it up, right? So yeah, of course, of course, yeah. That's exactly what we what we did, yeah. Uh, what if you don't have a, a Swagger endpoint? Okay, so uh, this is, yeah, 
I, I, I'm reading the, the, the question, that's why I'm answering immediately. So this is a, a good, uh, a good, also a good um, question, because we also allow to you to build your own um, your own uh, paths, your own your own uh, endpoints. Okay, it's not enabled for this demo, but actually I don't know if you saw on the API model. I will show you again. Uh, on the API model, you have here uh, above Swagger endpoint, you have a Swagger true. Okay, so if you put Swagger true, it means that uh, Camel will build the routes based on your Swagger. But if you don't have it, it means that you can also include all your uh, all your paths here. Okay, so all the routes that you want Camel to create for you. This is also possible. So the, uh, to answer your question, is it po it's possible to create uh, routes without having um, uh, without having the, the but we 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 it will not work with the slash star uh, and. Um, we, we we didn't put any effort on on uh, having working with with the slash star because it was a bad experience with our current production api gateway uh, that we end up saying to the users don't don't uh, don't expose the slash star that's why we are imposing and this is quite restrict or you have a swagger endpoint or you create or you well define your your uh, uh, api no, not for not for the moment. So uh, this is something that we it's it's on our roadmap as well to expose the the swagger not not through the the route server but through the manager. So if we go back here to the slide, I guess I still have time to do that. So if we go here, we want to expose not on the route Capi route server but on the Capi managed server. Why? Because from there you will be able to test it. And I guess the the reason that you want to expose your swagger is not only for your, of course, your clients to be able to 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 build their their own logic based on your swagger definition, but also to test it. So yes, it's it's uh, in our roadmap to 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 put that available. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Rodrigo. A lot of people are chiming in and uh, saying that it was really interesting and uh, excellent talk. It's my pleasure, my pleasure. And uh, yeah. if I can have then feedback, uh, uh, suggestions, improvements, I will be happy with it. Awesome. So okay. uh, next up is Aurelien. Uh, so go to the sessions uh, section and just select the next camel session. Thank you all for attending. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. See you.